Hello, everybody. Uh, I just want to do a quick announcement. If, uh, all you guys can put uh, your phones on vibrate or silent, please, before we start the ceremony. Thank you. this beautiful bride <laughs> to be married to this handsome gentleman? I do. Would you open with me uh, with the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You may be seated. My wife asked me the question, uh, are you going to have a microphone? I say, I'm going to have to use my big boy voice today. <laughs> so I hope you can hear me in the back. If you can't, raise your hand. I can elevate a little louder. Can you hear me? Good evening once again. It is a, such a great honor and pleasure to be able to come together to join Sarah and Nader in holy matrimony. And that word has a key de definition to them when I say holy because there were some requirements they had to meet in marriage counseling. 
and I refuse to tell you what they are. <laughs> but they were quite interesting. But it's such a blessing as we have come together in the presence of God and you as witnesses to be able to share at this time the vows and the exchanges of rings and to be able to witness what God has joined together. As we went through the counseling session, we learned that God truly brings the bride to the husband that he has prepared for such a time like this. Through the dating process, through the years that they've been together, it's being consummated to what God has really intended for marriage to be. And this bond of holy matrimony, the scripture says this is a sacred time that when they have chosen to share their love for one another because it's the love that Christ shared to the church when he gave his life for all of us. And in doing that, he gave a, an example in the scriptures that the apostle Paul wrote to describe what love is. And this is just a small glimpse of what love truly is. But let me read it for you from 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, verses 4 through 8. It says, love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. Love is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist upon its own way. In other words, it keeps no records of wrongs. And we talked about that in the counseling because you have to have in marriage a short memory because if you have a long memory and keeping collections of wrongs doings, you're going to be burdened down with a lot of heartaches. But love is not, uh, it is not rejoice in wrong, but rejoices in right. It bears all things, hopes all things, believes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And in this union that has been set forth, it's just such an idea that they do not enter into it hastily, but with due consideration, reverently, discreetly, advisably in the fear of God. And what has happened too often in the marriage relationship or re a union too many people don't fear God they do whatever they choose to do and it is causing so many breakdowns in relationships but in this relationship between Nader and Sarah God is doing some miraculous work in their lives and I'm just thankful that I could be a part of it uh, I'd like for you to join with me and say just one thing because he, I, I told Renata to be prepared for this. Doesn't Sarah look just gorgeous? If she looks gorgeous, yeah. put your hands together. Yeah. And if you think Nader looks handsome, guess say, woo woo! woo, -woo. That's good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. But what a special time that you all can witness together. And at the invite of Sarah and Nader, there comes something of a responsibility. And as witnesses and being here today brings about a certain responsibility to all of us. And that is the responsibility to be an encourager to them as they walk through this journey called marriage. And if anybody has been married longer than one day, you know that there are some challenges. Can I get an amen? amen. amen. They're going to face some challenges. I tried to tell them. I didn't try to discourage them because you should not be discouraged to get married. But there are going to be some trials, some tribulations, some tests. And I told them they couldn't argue, they have to have discussions, but sometimes you have a little disagreements. But in that, you here being witnesses are never to try to discourage them as they go through maybe a difficult time. They may come to a friend and say, well, we had this going on. 
but always as being witnesses here today, your responsibility is to encourage them to work it out agreeably and reasonably so they can come to a resolution that's going to continue to bond them together closer in the marriage bond. Now, if you agree to do that, say, I will. I will. See, I don't mean you to know what you were here for that, but in this day, <laughs> this is such a special occasion that I know we're going to party after, afterwards, right? <laughs> I know somebody's going to get their drink on. <laughs> Because at the, at the wedding at Canaan of Galilee, Jesus turned water into what? Wine. wine. So it's all right to drink some wine today. Just don't hit the hard stuff too hard. <laughs> but the responsibility that you have here today in witnessing is that we opened up with the Lord's Prayer, but we're also going to go through the vows. And after the vows, we're going to pray together that God would really do something super special and super uh, supernatural that their bond would be so close together that when people see them they would see a light shining upon them that comes from Jesus Christ only. Amen. So at this time we would like to have a wedding vows. Would you turn and face each other? And hold hands. Do you, Nader, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love her, respect her, honor her, cherish her in health, in sickness, in prosperity, in adversity, and leaving all others to keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. I do. They couldn't hear you back there. Say it loud. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, Sarah, in like manner solemnly agree to receive this man as your lawfully wedded husband, to love him, to respect him, to live with him in all faith, to be tender in health and in sickness and in prosperity and in adversity, leaving all others to keep yourself only to him as long as you both shall live. And if you do, say, I do. I do. <laughs> what? Did you hear it? Nope. Yeah. I, yeah. I do. <laughs> do you have a ring? Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you can see all the way in the back, but this ring is circular in shape. And what that means is that there's no end to it, representing their love, their sacredness to one another, that there is no end to the love that they have for one another. And this is what the significance of this ring is they exchange vows to one another. Would you take this ring, put it on the left hand, third <coughs> finger, and as you put it on, repeat these words after me. With this ring, with this ring, I give to you. I give to you. In token. In token. And pledge. And pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. And as you can see, also, let me see if I can exchange this real quick. No. Pop that in mind. It's pretty thick. If you can see circular, in shape. Meaning never ending, that represents her love for Nader. She takes this ring and place it on his left hand. Third finger. And repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I give to you. I give to you. Get him in the eyes. <laughs> in token. In token. And pledge. And pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. After making these vows and exchanges of rings, there's something that's very significant that must take place today in the presence of these witnesses. And that is a symbolic 
a form of two people becoming one flesh. This is something that God has laid on my heart that I want to make sure that we as people can witness as they have joined hands with one another. This is totally spontaneous. They have not rehearsed this. And this is what they're, they're going to come out of their comfort zone because as we went through counseling together, they had to learn how to come out of their comfort zone. So what they're going to say to one another at this time is totally something that's coming from their heart. And all that is is that that they want to say to each other that I love you deeply and I want to be one with you for the rest of my life. Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I promise to provide the best life to you. You I love her deep? I do. Can you say it loud and clear? I do. I love you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> You're bonding your hearts together right now as one in front of all these witnesses. And it can't be broken. Nader, I love you. How much? Deeply. Deeply. Forever. Deeply. How deep? Deeply. Deeply. <laughs> one thing I've learned is that when you make public confessions, it makes us a much more of a stern commitment. And with them saying how much they love each other deeply, that, that last verse says, love never ends. And they just said it, you just heard it, that their love together would never end. And in as much as they have agreed in to enter into this marriage relationship and have given and received rings, the token of their faith and their love for one another, I now, by the authority that has been given to me by the state of California and by the laws of the United States of America, I commit to you and declare that Nader and Sarah are husband and wife according to the laws of the land and the laws of the state. Before I pronounce you man and wife, if you can just touch the person's hand right next to you as we will close in a prayer together, a sacred... No, 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 you too. No, no, no. Too, no. you nobody else. <laughs> then we're going to pray. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we have heard these two impressed and accepted in solemn and significant vows of marriage and have stated to one another that they love one another deeply. And their hearts are being drawn together and binded together and united together and sealed together in holy matrimony. Lord, we thank you that you are the glue, you are the cement that holds them together as one. And Lord, we pray that there is nothing that can separate them from your love and nothing can separate them from their love for one another. They are inseparable. They are the one that will stick together through thick and thin. They will hold one another accountable they will love one another deeply. And Lord, we thank you for this union. We thank you for these witnesses that will be there to pray for them and to encourage them as they have bonded together in holy matrimony as one. So we thank you for this union and everyone that agrees today that God has blessed them together. Say amen. 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 What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And this is the part of the ceremony where I get a chance to step back. And if, Brian, do you have any chapstick, anything? Because Nader's <laughs> lips looks a little dry. Yeah. Uh, I wish they did. <laughs> you don't have any? I wish they did. Stop in the mic,
Uh, uh, Saliva. Uh, uh, <laughs> lick them, lick them. You may kiss your wife, your bride. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. What, and since we have, we have a panoramic kind of view here today, so what you're going to have to do, like I said, this is all impromptu. Yeah. You're going to have to kind of kind of move all the way around so everyone can see as I present to them very uh, slow and slow motion. Uh, oh man. Because I'm going to present you as husband and wife, but you're going to have to do it in 3D. So you got to move this way so everyone can see you. Everybody move out of the way so everybody can see them. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sarah and Nada Dura. So keep moving around. Keep moving around. A big round of applause as they're exiting together.